In today's show, we have a stand-up about Robotics Club. Happy Homecoming Week, Vikes. I'm Cade. And I'm Sage. And this is SVTV. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. It's nice to see everyone wearing pajamas. Remember, tomorrow is Visco Day. Also, tomorrow is the last day to turn in any outside date forms. Several clubs are still looking for members, including Robotics Club. Hey Vikes, I'm here with Mr. Kuhn and he's going to talk to us about Robotics Club. So what is Robotics Club? Robotics Club is, it's a club where we, we build robots. Um, there's a competition, a VEX Robotics competition, where they come up with a new problem every year. And so we build a robot to um, solve the problem uh, the best, that, better than the other teams. Um, we have competitions that we go to, and the, the best teams in the state uh, will go to a competition, and then they, uh, those best teams will have a chance to go to something called VEX Worlds. Um, that's where all the teams in the world, and there are about 11,700 teams in the, in the world, um, I think the top 900 will compete uh, at VEX Worlds, and they'll figure out who's the world champion. Why should people uh, join? It's a lot of fun. Um, it'll teach you how to problem solve and work in teams, and um, it's really a lot of fun. Is there anything else you'd like to add? Um, yeah. Uh, it's not too late to join the Robotics Club, and we meet on Thursdays after school. All right. Um, if you couldn't get into the class, uh, Thursdays after school, you can join the club. All right. Thank you, Mr. Kuhn. Now back to your anchors. Thank you, Emery. Robotics is meeting after school Tuesday and Thursdays. Also, Key Club has a meeting tomorrow. Here's the rest of your announcements. The Viking Brew is taking applications. If you're interested in applying, please see Ms. Schaefer. Also, if you're interested in the sleep in a box, then see Mr. Collins. If you want to do job shadow, as a, shadow a career, see Ms. Noble. And finally, all seniors are taking a picture on the football field Thursday during Calc. Now over to sports with Cade. Man, I am having so much fun at the bonfire, but it sure is kind The homecoming bonfire is going to be on September 24th, after the soccer game. Hope to see you there. Kind of cold. Ha, ah, that's better. Did you know there's a kickball classic going on Sunday, September 29th, 2019 at the Seaman Middle School football field. There's a complimentary luncheon at 1 o'clock. See Coach Kelly in C3. The teams consist of 8 to 12 members and it's $80 per team. Hope to see you there because it's going to be a blast. Tuesday is Visco and I oop. Wednesday, wear your class colors. Thursday is America Day. America. America. Frick. Yeah. And on Friday, wear decades. All school dress code still applies. Do you have school spirit? Do you want to show off your school spirit? Stuco is selling shirts from 23rd to 26th. Shirts are $15 and they double as your ticket to the dance. Don't forget to buy one at lunch. The boys cross country team went to Baldwin last weekend and the team placed 12th and was led by Colin Underwood in 33rd. The C team placed third and was led by medalist Adam Carlson, fifth, Oliver Smidscock, 14th, and Colin O'Rourke, 15th. If you are interested in winter sports conditioning, please see Mr. Tinsley, Mr. Cox, or Mr. Kelly. Now over to Sage with the weather.
Welcome back, Vikes. We're starting out today, Monday, with um, uh, high 70s into the low 70s, starting off the fall weather. The next three days, low 80s, high 70s. And that's your weather. That's it for today's show. And make sure to send us your pictures from Spirit Week on Snapchat or Instagram. Have a great day, Vikes. Thank <laughs> you.